Hey all, Hiba here. So if you're playing Baldur's Gate 3 and you are enjoying the local co-op possibilities here, but you are experiencing issues with your party when you are logging in back after having played the game. For example, here I've saved a local co-op game and I'm going to choose continue because I come back like let's say two days later and when I continue the game with uh, my friend on the couch. But the problem is that the game doesn't save uh, your settings, like your party settings, uh, when you actually exit it. So uh, you have to uh, figure that out when you reload the game. And a lot of people ha have asked me this question, how do I do that? And in this video here, I will show you exactly how you do it. It's a little bit silly that Larian hasn't thought of this, uh, but luckily it's fairly easy to fix and uh, it's just annoying. You're gonna have to do it every time you load a save game where you play local couch co-op, okay? So in this example here, I'm loading in player one first, and then I press start on the second controller to add the second player into the local co-op game here. So, uh, so far so good, right? Uh, but the problem is that at, as of this moment, player one controls the whole party and player two only controls themselves. So I want to make it so uh, each player controls, you know, like their own player and also uh, one of the uh, like party members. So you see here, I'm controlling three players. That's how it always starts after you uh, load a co-op game. But uh, luckily, all you have to do is just pick the character you want to switch over to uh, the second row. In this case, I'm picking Astarion because he's really annoying, I think. <laughs> no, I actually like him. And just press X and that's it. Then each player is controlling, you know, two uh, characters. You can also make it like three for one player, whatever you want to do, uh, or all four, for example. But what's the point of co-op then, right? So anyway, this is how most people want it, two each, and uh, that's it. But that's not actually the complete thing because you can see I'm moving around and then, um, you know, I don't have anyone following me. So uh, that's another thing that the game forgets when you save and then you reload and close the game. So uh, you actually have to uh, group your characters as well. Luckily, that's easy. You press L2 and, uh, you know, my characters are the top two characters. So all you have to do is press the square button on both characters uh, and then they will be grouped together. And after you do that, uh, they will uh, like the the computer control control <laughs> character will then follow me around and uh, that's what you want and of course if you want to leave the character somewhere you can just uh, turn the grouping off again uh, but again this is how most people play the game you know like if you play couch co-op uh, each character has two characters to control and uh, they, the smartest thing is usually just have them you know follow each other around so uh, i did the same thing uh, with the second character you have to do that as well so uh, Asterion is uh, far away from her, but he's making his way there, and there he is. And uh, once he's, you know, made it to her, there we go. Uh, that's it. Now you're ready to play. It's a little bit annoying that you have to do this every time, but uh, hopefully Larian will, uh, you know, sort this out with a patch in the future. So I hope this helps because I've had this question a lot. And uh, anyway, uh, enjoy the game just like I do, and I'll see you out there. Hmm. Doesn't taste off bad. 